Are you really dirty? Are you a dirty camper? Do you get dirty camping a lot and need a place to wash? We have your solution right here. Your own sink. With your own foot pedal water. Easy peasy. So we're gonna build a, another camp sink. And so the camp sink is so that we have our own little hand washing and even dishwashing station at our campsite without having to go elsewhere around the campground. So it's very, very convenient. It didn't came in very handy because of the pandemic. But, uh, All right, roughly you need three buckets and five gallon bucket to work. They don't have to be fancy. You do need two lids. They can be the same size. They don't have to be fancy lids. One just used on top for the one bucket to set on and the other one you actually get to cut. So they don't need to be fancy lids. You need to get a foot pump. And this is a siphon pump from Amazon. And I think it was a whopping 18, I think it was $18. It's the bigger pump, the biggest one I could find. It'll pump the most liquid. And the cool thing is it comes with a hose, which is plenty and a long enough hose, and it comes with a little brass adapter there that we can use to weigh down the end. Then we need to make the foot pump. This is our foot pump, which we need to fix, but uh, it's pretty simple. So what do we need for the, so the foot, the foot pedal? We just have, I think these are actually, this is actually birch. You want something fairly uh, rigid and then uh, we like to store our pump and everything in with the bucket. So if it gets a little bit wet, it's not gonna to bend or anything. I wanna make sure they don't go all the way through. The trick is to build this with as much crap that you can find in your garage as you can humanly possible. We, <laughs> I built that one, the kid and I, and I think about 15 minutes right before our camping trip after I discovered that we were going to have to use public bathrooms. So between that and our portable toilet, when we go camping in with our uh, rooftop tent, there's really no reason to go into the public bathroom, which is good. The only thing this is missing is a soap holder, which I think we're gonna design and print one so we can stick one right off onto the side so we can hold the soap. Seems like a pretty uh, well-made. I was a little bit worried that over time this is gonna crack. It probably will after a couple of years, but after one season, ours, Still going strong. To make your foot pump, you stick this guy up here and we'll strap him down. But then you need something to, to press on here. And the person I looked at to get the original plans for this, they used a tennis ball and they cut a tennis ball in half and they were stuck here. And that way you have something soft pushing against the, the little pump here. Uh, we just happen to have this these floating around in the shop. so. If you look on ours, you can see we just stuck it there and then it pushes down. And there's no sharp, there's nothing sharp to puncture that. So we're gonna do something similar here. We just wanna give ourselves a little bit more room. So I think we're gonna put another block here. I'm just countersinking these just because my screws aren't that long. Because we build with what we have. Attach this here. So last time I didn't have anything to, to hold it down so we used a, a variety of things that we had lying around. Had to bend the metal to it seems to work, not the greatest, but it seems to work. This time, what I think we will try is use these hose clamps. Okay, change plans. These, they were gonna be hard to drill through, plus this metal is gonna be sharp on the rubber part. So, we're going to try some Velcro, and we're gonna basically strap it down like that. That way, there's nothing sharp on the bulb, and it's gonna work fabulous. 
maybe, hopefully. This is all part of the contest of what can you build with the crap in your <laughs> in your garage. Look at that. I think that would actually work. Look at that. That even looks nice. Now we have to measure where we want this guy. Right there. We want it down far enough to where we're only getting the rubber part onto here. Okay, let's test it. Success. So this is done. We just need the bucket part. So the first one we have the bucket we have to cut just a little bit off and then this bucket ends up acting as the sink basin. We all we need to get rid of the get rid of this, this guy. That works better. Okay, we don't need that. Alright, we're on five inches down. Nice part is if you screw up, I think these buckets are $1.95 or $2.95, so they're cheap. Honestly, this is not that critical. It just has to, to give yourself enough lip so it can sit inside the, the next bucket. Now we need to cut one of the lids, the edge of the lid, and then the lid will slide in down to about there, which will give us the bottom of the sink. But last time we basically just cut right on the ridge of the lip. This is also from Home Depot. I think this was also like $1.95 or something like that. You can adjust it however much you want to cut off. This, they will have a nice deep sink. We're just going to drill out a bunch of holes to give the water places to drain out. Now we need to attach our PVC to the side of the bucket here. This is just all uh, schedule, I don't know, 48, the, the little one, the really thin one, PVC. So I'm pre-drilling here. So this is nine and a half inches. Goes in here. And these are just 90 degrees. Our other sink has 245s, which makes for a nice smoother bend, but we didn't have any more of those, so we're going with 90s. And this, however long you want it to stick out, we're going to go with five inches, which puts it close to the middle of the sink. Another 90, which leaves you enough room to get under there. Even get a pan under there if you needed to. So now we just need to cut a hole, one more hole. So we just need big enough to fit this through. So your pump's only going to pump one way, so you just got to make sure you're just hooking it up the right way. Nice thing is it all just press fits, so you can take it apart. Take it apart and store it all in the bucket. After you get your, your hose in, put your lid on. Your gray water bucket on, put your sink top on. And I discovered if you have it sticking out just a little bit, it'll stay together a lot nicer itself apart. And this comes 
comes down and plugs into the other side of our pump. This thing packs down pretty easily and it all packs inside itself, but it is gray water, so make sure you dump it in an appropriate place. Take the top off, take your gray water, yeah. <laughs> you throw it in the appropriate area, not like that. We take our pump. This is why you want to use a decent uh, plywood because it does get wet and if you use crappy plywood it'll self-destruct. And then when you, before you put it away, just make sure you get rid of all the excess water. Take your clean. Now if I was actually going to put this away for real, I would wipe it out so it's uh, dry. Take your buckets, put them inside each other. Take your pump, put it in. Take your hoses, put them in. And then this, you just need to undo there. This goes in here. Sink topper, and your last lid. And there you go, it's your camp sink. Are you a dirty camper? Here's how to... <laughs> <laughs> Is your mouth too cold to talk? <laughs> Are you a dirty camper? This stayed... Oh. <laughs>